Hello everybody, Dragothian here. Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. Lilith, what have you done? I was so excited for this Lucky Dice event. I did a video, it's right there playing over on the top left corner of your screen. It was an amazing event. I'm gonna go through all the stuff that used to give you, and now I'm gonna go through all the stuff it gives you now. All the good stuff's gone. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of the spinning, but honestly, I'm not even concerned about doing the rolling of the dice. It's not really that great. We're gonna compare the rewards from this year to last year, and then we're gonna go ahead and jump in and do some lucky dice spinning ourselves this year to show you what you can get and what the best values are for your gems. Stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got the level six prize pool at the very top. They did away with the, uh, the the random chest that used to have the city skins in it from last year. I like that part of it. This should have really been one reward though. It should have been a choice chest with all of these in it. You shouldn't have necessarily had to have had all of your top rewards be the, just just a city skin. Last year, the top rewards were way better. You had three legendary material choice chests. You had four gold sculptures. You had tons of different things that you could pick from that were way better than this. So um, I will say from the city skins that you've got uh, available to you here, I would focus on if you don't have spring blossoms, that one's not bad. If you don't have, uh, let's see, not that one. Uh, also, golden sled cottage, not bad either. And then also... Okay, yeah, it was this one. Lucky Lanterns, a five archer defense if you don't have top copy palace from the KBK um, Heroic Anthem Shop. So, um, to me, underwhelming on the level six prize pool. I won't even be going for any of these. They're just not good enough for me to get all, you know, salivating over. Level five prize pool was a huge disappointment for me. I thought for sure we were going to be getting some gold, um, some gold materials at least some epic materials come on something right there's no epic materials in this entire list at all in the old version it wasn't even the top prize pool it was in the fifth tier so i mean we're looking at this getting 10 equipment crystal keys that's okay but who level five reward should not be purple stars i'm sorry it should not be purple stars gold keys really for level five I think those were level three or four on the on the last year's model. All these speed ups have been lowered. So last year I think it was like twelve or fifteen eight hour speed ups you got. Now you only get eight. Uh, last year you got two hundred and seventy XP tomes. This year you get sixty. You got way more three hour speed ups last year. You got way more resource pick one choice chests. You used to get a ton of green material pieces. Now you get a level two resource pack. Six hundred thousand food. Anyone? And then, of course, the level one prize pool is just a joke. The only reason you would want to do anything with this is if you have not maxed out your castle yet. Get yourself some Books of Covenant, go about your business, and be just fine. Same thing with your watchtower. If you don't want to spend your gems on that, that's perfectly fine. Otherwise, this is a joke. This is a joke. Let's go do it anyway. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and do some of these spins here. I'm not going to go too crazy on this because... Again, like, I don't need a 5% infantry attack skin as a, a tier 6 reward. Even the, the pick one resource chest. So, this is 500,000 food per. So, what are we looking at? 5 million, 15 million, 15 million food. Okay. <laughs> Four days of 25% stone production. 5,000 troop army. Refresh. Spring Blossoms is okay, but refresh. The speed ups is what I would get here, but I'm going to have to go over four turns to get it. And it's not even that many. All right, whatever. Here we go. All right, so I got that one. Continue. Can't possibly win that. Okay, so 650 gems. 1300 gems 1950 gems Do 
2,600 gems. Yeah, of course. Starting to run out of math. 3,250 gems. Can't possibly win that one. 3,900 gems. I got 64 hours of speed up for 3,900 gems. Yeah, f*** this. That's a joke. Not worth it. Not worth it. Not going to waste the gems. It's pointless. This is a good one. Anniversary shop. All that. This is really good. This is not good. Your potential rewards are a joke. All right, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one. Some rewards are very basic, but you can get some re-released emojis here. Rewards on the, the lucky dice roll are really good. I mean, especially as you kind of escalate up, right? So 45 green materials, that's really good. 40 hours of speed ups, that's almost two days of speed ups for a level two reward. If you don't want to put too many gems into it, look at this major decoration re-release so you can get the turkey sculpture, the gobble gobble. And if you want to get actual usable stuff and not necessarily just eye candy, I mean, look at this. Look how many, how many hours of speed ups you're getting. Also pick one resource chest. This is really good. Absolutely fantastic here. Um, same thing with the material choice test, 18 blue pieces. That's really good. 10 equipment chest keys for the level four. Um, more AP, we always need more AP, right? Again, more and more level four, pick one choice chest. This is really good as well. And then again, look at all these speed ups, eight times 12, uh, eight hours times 12. And then we start to get into the really good ones. Look at these. So you get the material choice chest, nine epic material choice chests. That's very, very good. That's basically a fifth or so of uh, a decent purple piece, a decent epic piece. And with the new material stuff and the new um, blueprints and everything that are out right now, this is very, very valuable. Uh, and again, if you're early in the game and you, you're trying to level up your commanders, this XP is going to be insanely valuable. You're looking at 2.7 million XP here, right? That's basically a full level on a legendary commander, a little more. So um, that's very, very valuable too. These are also good. This is about 3,000 gems worth of advanced army expansions. 16 stars, really good. And again, look at this, eight 15 hour speed ups. It's huge. Um, and then again, the last level has the highest tier, but honestly, I like the level five rewards the most. I mean, the four legendary sculptures are very, very good. Don't get me wrong, especially if you're really close to maxing Gupta like I am, I might go for these if I, um, if I get them, but if I get to this tier, but look at this, here's the major city theme re-release chest. That's the other thing you can't pick. It's not a choice chest. It should be a choice chest in my opinion, but it's a random city theme. So um, if you're just missing one, I wouldn't necessarily recommend getting this, but if you're missing all of them and you want to get one, go for it. Look at this level six reward, eight days of speed ups. That's really good. And three legendary materials. If I go for the level six rewards on anything, It'll be for the three legendary materials or the four gold sculptures, but really the three legendary materials is where it's at. I think that's the play there. Unless you want to get eight days of speed ups, that's also helpful. But again, I would much rather have the materials to get those sweet new gold. So.